Good day kids, here we are again with another episode of our Agriculture 6 Tools and Equipment in Plant Propagation. I am your teacher James Urbeo, and I hope you would listen attentively with the discussion I have prepared for you. So sit back and enjoy learning. Planting trees and fruit trees require careful study of various factors to ensure its proper adaptability and growth. Important elements or factors in planting trees and fruit trees are to observe to achieve success in this industry. A hand tools. Hand tools are usually light and used without the help of animals or machines. They are being used in performing farm activities which involve small areas like school garden, home garden and farms. B short handled tools. Short handed tools can be used while sitting or kneeling. These include trowels, hand forks, hand cultivator, weeding knives, etc. Don't buy inexpensive hand tools made of thin metal. They are just not worth the money being too easy to bend and often having sharp edges on handles or unwelded seams that cut hands or lead in water and moisture, allowing a wooden handle to rot. You should look for stainless steel working parts with all seams and joints welded and ground smooth and strong shaped handles for good gripping. Expect a well-made tool with proper care to last. 1. Hand Trowel Hand trowel is used for loosening the soil around the growing plants. 2. Hand fork. Hand fork is used for interrow cultivation. 3. Hand cultivator. Hand cultivator is used for cultivating the garden plot by loosening the soil and removing weeds around the plant. 4. Weeding knife. Weeding kim for hori hori can be used to dig out tap rooted weeds, cut through roots, saw and measure. 5. Sickle. Sickle is a hand-held agricultural tool with a variously curved blade typically used for cutting weeds. 6. Dibbler. Dibbler is a small hand tool used to make holes in the ground for plants, seeds, or bulbs. See long-handled tools. Tools like shovels, spades, rakes, hoes, and other tools with handles more than 3 feet long are made to keep you from bending over too far and straining your back. There are six kinds of long-handled tools that you can use round and shovel, spade, spading fork, broad-bladed hoe, steel-tined rake, and leaf rake. If you're a shorter person, handles can be shortened if needed. Taller people may need to look far and wide to find a handle long enough for themselves so, buy an appropriate handle. And shovel. Shovel is used in removing trash, digging loose soil, moving soil from one place to another, and for mixing soil media. Two. Spade. Spade is look like shovels but have a flat blade with a straight, sharp end. They pierce the soil easily, make clean edges, and are useful for slicing straight down into the soil. Use it to edge beds and to dig out plants when you need to cut straight down alongside, not under, the plant. A spade is good for turning over soil, in a bed and for stripping dirt, and grass when you want to turn a patch of lawn into a path or bed. Use a spade more than a shovel when digging. 3. Spading Fork. Spade Fork is used for loosening the soil, digging out root crops, and turning over the materials in a compost heap. 4. Rake. Rake is used for cleaning the ground and leveling the topsoil, used for collecting dried leaves, grass, and dirt. 5. Grub hoe. Grub hoe is used for breaking hard topsoil and pulverizing soil. 6. Light hoe. Light hoe is used for loosening and leveling soil and digging out furrows for planting. 7. Pickmatic. Pickmatic is used for digging canals, breaking hard topsoil, and for digging up stones and tree stumps. 8. Crowbar Crowbar is used for digging big holes and for digging out big stones and stumps. Dewatering Tools 1. Water Pails. Water Pails for hauling water, manure, and fertilizers. 2. Water Sprinkler. Water sprinkler is a tool used to sprinkle or pour water on the plants. 3. Sprayers. Sprayers are for spraying insecticides, foliar fertilizers, fungicides, and herbicides. 4. Water hose. Water hose is a flexible tube which carries water and is used to water plants. E pruning tools. You will need pruning tools like hand pruners, loppers, and pruning saws to keep shrubs and trees shapely and well proportioned as they grow. As with planting tools look for solidly constructed tools and keep them clean oiled and sharpened. Don't bother because of the cost. A good tool is a good investment. 
1. Pruning shears. Pruning shears, or hand pruner is used for cutting branches of planting materials and unnecessary branches of plants. Hand pruners are useful for cutting the dead flowers off perennials and snipping small twigs. Never use a pair of hand pruners on branches or sticks larger than a half inch in diameter. While your own strength may make the pruners cut through the branch, you risk twisting the blades out of alignment. For larger branches, use loppers. 5. Loppers. Loopers are simply long-handled pruners used to remove small limbs from trees, cut up limbs into smaller pieces for hauling away, and reach into thorny shrubs from a safe distance. 6. Pruning saws. Pruning saws are used for cutting larger limbs anything more than about 2 inches in diameter from trees and for cutting larger limbs into smaller pieces to haul away. They come with blades that are either rigidly attached to the handle or that can be folded back into the handle. 7. Bolo. Bolo is used for cutting tall grasses and weeds and chopping branches of trees. 8. Axe. Axe is for cutting bigger size post. Barrow. Wheelbarrow is used for hauling trash, manures, fertilizers, planting materials and other equipment. Grinder. Grinder, a machine tool used for grinding, it is a type of machining using an abrasive wheel as the cutting tool. Preventive maintenance of tools and equipment in plant propagation, comma, tools and equipment should be cleaned immediately, clean by washing if possible, or simple wipe the tool then dry. Lubricate it with oil to protect the tool and equipment from rust, routine checkup, and maintenance should always be performed. Check the tools and equipment for wear and tear. Check if the blade is still sharp, if the handle is loose and if there is rust. A sharp tool can do the job effectively and efficiently which will shorten the time of work, then apply possible solution by sharpening the cutting edge, by fixing the handle or by applying lubrication, if it is broken or damaged. Repair the broken part to restore the tool in good working condition, lubrication of tools, and equipment before storing should always be done. Activity time. Direction. Select 3. 3. Tools among the 5. 5. List the tools. Identify each tool and demonstrate how to use it. Make a record of the activity by documenting it through video or picture and send it to your teacher through FB Messenger. Remember, use the different tools and equipment in plant propagation properly. Apply safety precautions when doing plant propagation. Always maintain the condition of the tools and equipment used in plant propagation to make it last longer.